Welcome to Take a Bite Podcast, stories for hungry kids. My name is Miss Janine, and I'm going to tell you a story today to help you eat. Sounds easy, right? It is, but most importantly, it's fun. So grab some breakfast, lunch, or dinner, a family member or friend, and your listening ears. Oh, there's one rule. Every time I stop my story and say, take a bite, you take a good bite of your yummy food. And if you finish that bite before I stop again, don't wait for me. Keep on munching. Okay, enjoy your meal, enjoy the story, and let's go. Take a Bite podcast stories are written for children three years of age and up. Adult supervision is always required while kids are eating and listening. Always remind your child to finish chewing before taking another bite to prevent choking. Please see our website, takeabitestories.com, for more information. By listening to this podcast, you agree to all terms and conditions set forth within. The Croc who only liked guac. There once was a crocodile that loved to play. He loved to play trains, dolls, pretend, dress up, and all the little things boys and girls like to do. He was really good at Legos, drawing, painting, and anything he tried his best at. But there was one tiny problem. He never wanted to stop playing. Take a bite. One winter day, Guaki, that was the crocodile's name since he loved guacamole, he was outside swimming in the swamp. He was going back and forth in between the grasses and his little heart was pumping. Soon it was time for lunch. Guaki's babysitter yelled out to him, Guaki, time for lunch. Come on in and wash your feet. Guaki didn't like this idea. He could tell he was hungry since his belly was grumbling, but he didn't want to stop playing. Take a bite. Guaki knew he had to make the right choice, even though he didn't want to stop swimming. So he trudged out of the swamp and clomped over to his lunch of guacamole and fish chips. He was glad he did, since this was his favorite lunch. He told his babysitter thank you, and she said that Guaki could go play as soon as he felt full. Now that he had body and brain energy, he headed over to his train set. Take a bite. He loved connecting all the freight cars to the big engine, and he loved pushing the button to make the train whistle. Next, Guaki played dolls with his babysitter. They pretended the dolls were in a fashion show as the dolls showed off their clothes to the audience, who always clapped. Take a bite. Before Guaki knew it, Mom was home. Miss Babysitter had left, and it was time for dinner. Mom called Guaki over for spaghetti and snake eggs. No! I don't want to wash my feet for dinner. I don't want to stop playing. He said in a too loud voice. Take a bite. Mom was proud of him for using his words to say what he was thinking, but his tone wasn't very nice. Tone is the way that you say things. Glocky, I know you don't want to stop playing. No one does. Playing's the best, but it's time to eat. Your body needs energy and vitamins, she said. Glocky was still not happy, but he made a good choice and he went over to the big rock table. Uh-oh. Take a bite. On the table was a dinner that Guaki was not a big fan of, but he was learning. He knew his mom had worked all day 
and then made him this food. So he just kept his opinion to himself and started taking bites. In fact, even though the flavors were not very guacamole-ish, he was feeling mm. energized Yummy. and less tired. Take a bite. He ate until he felt like his crocodile belly was full, and then he asked to be excused. He helped Mom bring the plates into the kitchen, and then they both played Legos until bedtime. When Mom was reading a story, Guacky felt a rumble in his tumble belly. Take a bite. Rumble. Mom, I think I'm hungry. Can I have a healthy snack before I brush my chompers? Mom grinned a giant chomper smile because Guaki used his words and noticed when his body needed food again. She got him some swamp greens with fish eggs, a great snack with vitamins and protein. Guaki was starting to enjoy all these new flavors. Take a bite. He realized how silly he had been to only want guacamole. So many other foods were turning out to be yummy too. After he finished, he got in his PJs and brushed his chompers. Then he got into bed. Quacky was deep asleep in two minutes, but a giant brown avocado popped into his dreams. It opened its mouth and started speaking. Take a bite. Hey, you sleeping crocodile. I know you love to eat me because I'm healthy and so tasty in your guacamole. But your body and brain need other foods to work well. Here, come meet my friends. The avocado pointed to four groups of foods standing apart from each other. Take a bite. There were fruits like purple grapes, red strawberries, yellow bananas, and oranges with big smiles on their faces. Then, over to the left, were tall green broccolis, short stubby mushrooms, and really happy red peppers. Standing in another group was thick slices of wheat bread and tall skinny spaghetti guys. And all the way in the distance were beans with grins and tofu cubes jumping up and down. Take a bite. The big brown avocado spoke again. These are four of the healthiest food groups. We have my friends, the fruits. The fruits all waved their stems. The veggies. The veggies waved their tops. The grains. The bread and spaghetti blinked hello. And the proteins. The tofu and the beans gave a wave. To be healthy and strong and feel good, you have to eat lots of these friends from all these food groups every day, said the avocado. Take a bite of your food. Guaki the crocodile's tummy growled so loudly, so suddenly, that it woke him up from the dream. He couldn't believe it. The sun was shining in the window, and it was morning. Guaki had slept all night and dreamed and learned all about healthy food groups. He was ready for a breakfast filled with new and exciting things. And he was ready for a day of fun too. So he headed to the kitchen to help make something yummy. Take a big bite. The end. Well, are you full? Did you finish your meal? Good job! If you didn't, keep eating. Mom or Dad can head to our website, takeabitestories.com, for some discussion questions. You can see what you remember about the story, how it made you feel, and what you liked about it. If you're all done for now, thanks for listening. I hope this story made you hungry for more. Bye-bye!